What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. This video is by way of an old-fashioned shout-out because even crazy people need viewers now and then. The title of the video appears to be Convert Me to Atheism Challenge. I admit I am not a psychiatrist, I am not allowed to prescribe drugs such as Thorazine, but I thought I would take a look at this video anyways. I have not seen the video, so we shall see it together for the first time, like young blushing lovers. Question 10. Thank you so much, Atheist, for coming back and doing all of the questions in the challenge. And this is the final question. Atheist has finally asked the final question. Thank God. So, they're all going to just shut up now? Oh, that's good news. I give that two thumbs up. It says in 1 Corinthians 15 that there was over 500 people, 500 eyewitnesses, that saw the risen Savior after he died. An eyewitness of him rising. Okay, trot them out. Look in a law dictionary under the phrase eyewitness. You will see that for a person to be an eyewitness, they have to be alive, have to actually have witnessed something, and be interrogated. If a person is not alive, they are not an eyewitness. Let's see what else you've got confused. So my question to you is, why would they make it up? My answer is, for the exact same reason, Yuri Geller made up his bullshit also. The money and to control people. How is this not obvious? Seriously, there were two writers of the book of Matthew. The second writer added, about year 230 or so, the appendix to the book of Matthew, wherein he added the resurrection and the myth of the 500 so-called eyewitnesses. Of course, none of them are eyewitnesses. Why? Do you suppose people like Yuri Geller make shit up? Why ask us when this is so fucking obvious? Do you doubt an eyewitness account? Well, that depends. Produce the eyewitness. Still waiting? Produce your eyewitness. Produce one. If you want me to tentatively accept that one of the sons of one of the gods was resurrected, produce, I don't know, three eyewitnesses so that I can interrogate them and see, first of all, if their stories match. Second, if they don't appear batshit crazy, produce your eyewitness. 500 people, 500 people said they saw the risen savior. No, there's one writer who said 500 people saw somebody rise from the dead. I have over a quarter of a million accounts of people who saw the Statue of Liberty disappear for almost four minutes and then just suddenly reappear again. And... Most of those people are still alive, so they are eyewitnesses. Checkmate. I think that's very strong evidence. Yes, it is very strong evidence that a writer said there was 500 witnesses. Nobody, as far as I know, has ever claimed a writer did not write that. So, why even bring it up? If you are looking for evidence that a writer made that claim, who disputes that? As for 500 eyewitnesses, trot them out. And not only did they claim to have seen the risen Savior with their own physical eyes. They did. You have 500 peoples who claim that they saw somebody rise from the dead. Where are they? Where is it even written by 500 people that they saw this? What you have is one writer... I need to watch this. You probably can guess where that's been. 
one writer who said there was 500 witnesses. You do not have 500 accounts of people who said they saw a dead person get up and rise into the sky. You call that evidence. The evidence is one writer made that claim. You do not have any evidence that 500 people made that claim, let alone eyewitnesses. It also says that they died, they were put to death, some of them, for what they claimed to have seen. And if Okay, I give up. Where's the evidence for that claim also? We have no evidence that anybody died who made that claim. We have no evidence that anybody was put to death who made those claims. We have a whole bunch of stories written by modern people who made that claim. Nobody's refuting that claim because it's obviously true. A whole bunch of people out there believe that the early Christians were martyred when there's absolutely no evidence for most of those claims. Some Christians were martyred along with the hell of a lot of other pagans. Not for religious reasons, but for political reasons. Where is the evidence that any one of your imaginary witnesses, I'm sorry, eyewitnesses, were put to death for believing that they saw somebody rise from the dead and fly into the sky? Where's the evidence for that? If you read the blurb below, I will, sh I will tell you exactly those people who were persecuted, beheaded, what they claim to have seen. I looked at your evidence, written about 40 years ago. <laughs> Dude, evidence. Look it up. Look up the word. Look up what evidence means. What you have are names of imaginary people written by anonymous writers, most of them, 40 or 50 years ago, <laughs> claiming, oh, well, this person saw somebody rise from the dead and he was tortured and killed because he said he saw that. You have a whole bunch of those claims written in the modern era. How about you step forward and produce actual person who actually saw somebody rise from the dead and said so? What you have is one person who wrote an appendix to the book of Matthew saying this event happened. You then have many thousands of people who made shit up expanding on that story, even providing names for some of these so-called martyrs in the modern era. And by the way, they were all United States citizens. Dude, evidence, bitch. What more can I say? And scientifically, we know someone cannot die for what they believe to be a lie. It's an impossible thing. Year 2001, September 11. How many Muslims died for their belief? Since at least 12 that we know of died in the name of Islam. You are saying Islam must be true. David Koresh, how many people died? What about the People's Temple of Guyana? Jim Jones, 800, 1,000 people died for their beliefs. Therefore, Reverend Jim Jones was Jesus rein reincarnated, returned to earth. These people died. You are saying it is scientific to accept the fact that Jim Jones was Jesus. This is your claim. Do you see any problem with this? So either they were deluded or they were telling the truth. That's my question to you, atheists. Thank you for doing the challenge. Thank you for your time. You are very welcome. I am glad that this is the final question that a theist on YouTube will ask. And I hope that you understand that your assertions, which you have poised under the pretense of asking questions, are complete bullshit. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.